let me sit down in my throne. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kavoya aka Coco. Back it again with another motherfucking video. And today's video, we are trying out something new. I can tell by the title, I am going to be trying out this Delta 8 cartridge for the first time. If you go back like two videos, then you'll see that I did a goodie kind unboxing and they sent me this Delta 8 cartridge. It's actually a new product on their line. Their store link will be pinned in the comments or in the description down below. I didn't even have a battery for this and they went ahead and sent me a battery. So I was like, fuck yes, this company is so generous. Yeah, I'm just so grateful that they sent me this and I get to try it. But yeah, um, before we get into this, I want to explain what Delta 8 is because I actually just now started to hear about it. So I'll try my best to explain what it is, but basically Delta 8 is a cannabinoid. Everybody's heard of Delta 9, but if you don't know what Delta 9 is, it's like the main cannabinoid in THC that gives you that high effect. But Delta 8 is basically just like the reduced version of that you know it doesn't get you like high like delta 9 does it still gets you medicated you know but it's not going to get you like so medicated where you just like i'm so strong bro no it's not going to be like that but yeah that's basically it when they sent me this i was like are they allowed to send me this but it turns out that delta 8 is actually federally legal and the reason that it's federally legal is because it is extracted from a hemp plant and that's super duper dope and I can't wait to try this. I did smoke a bowl this morning but I waited until my high wore off so I could be completely sober for this to give you guys like a nice review on how I feel and things like that. As you guys know I don't usually vape. I bought a couple of THC cards in my lifetime before but they were never any good but this one's like legit it came in, it came in a whole fucking box but i don't i don't mind vaping it's a discreet way to get even though this isn't like delta 9 thc it's a discreet way to get high to get stony and you can't smell it maybe i should do like a video on how to be like a discreet stoner if you guys want to see that video comment down below let me know what you want to see from me but yeah um this it's what the packaging looks like. I don't know if it's pronounced goody kind or good kind, but it is a Delta 8 THC vape cartridge with 92% Delta 8 THC. Organically grown, pesticide free, lead free, CO2 extracted, no thickenings, no flavorings, third party tested. And it gives like a warning on the package and tells you that it was tested and all that good stuff. Also, they donate one ace to the Navajo Water Project. So go ahead and check them out. They're very affordable. Focus, bitch. They're very affordable and they're a super duper nice company. So please go check them out. And I'm just very excited to get into this. I'm gonna turn it on green. There we go. We got a flashing green and see if that does me well. But um, this is what it looks like, you guys. It's like almost clear. I'm gonna go ahead and puff on this for you guys. Hold on. It's flashing, but I don't know what that means. Hmm. See, I don't even know how to work. <laughs> I don't even know how to work vape pens, y'all. Am I doing this right? Why is it flashing? Does it need to be charged? Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just trying to do a nice review, but my ass does not know how to work vape pens. It's like flashing, and I don't think it's supposed to be flashing. So I'm gonna charge it. Um, BRB. Okay, so while this is charging, what's up? I apologize. My ass was not prepared today, you guys. I don't know, man. This pen didn't come with any instructions, so I just gonna have to figure it out myself. Okay, so while we wait, gonna play some Among Us. I wish we could smoke a bowl. Oh, I don't know how long this is gonna take. Fuck yes, this battery charged in like 15 minutes, you guys. That's fucking dope. But it finished charging right when I finished the round of Among Us. We get to try this bitch out. Let's try this distill it out. I'm gonna do it on green. We got it on green, flashy, flashy, flashy. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, okay. Oh. 
Whoa. I'm in pain. Holy fuck. My ass was not expecting that. This shit rips. Holy. Hold on. Do over. Do over. Do over. Cut. Take two. My chest is a heaving. Damn, this shit knocked me out. <coughs> Damn. I should have started slow. Hold on. A bitch needs some H2O. Okay. Now we know that this pin rips. Well, let's let's see how the fucking Delta 8 tastes. Man, I'm crying. <sighs> Oh shit, this actually does not have a taste. It says no flavoring. I said that from the beginning. Oh shit, it says no flavoring. But it hits so smooth, you guys. It's like airy. You can't even feel it in your mouth. That's how it took too big of a rip. You can't even feel it in your mouth, holy fuck. It smells like like a burnt coil, to be honest. Like what you usually get from vapes. That's also one thing that I didn't really like fuck with with vapes is that like it gave like a, a, a metal taste and like a burnt smell, but this one doesn't taste like metal. It doesn't taste like anything. It just smells like like a, a hot coil because that's, that's what's happening right here, you know? This is nice. Uh, This is nice. What I read is that it gives you a head and, and a body high. So we'll see. I don't know, man. I feel in a head rush right now, but it's probably because I uh, almost had a near death experience. This rips y'all and this is only on green. Hold on. Maybe if I put it on blue, it would have less of a smell. Unless you like sniff on it, you can't smell it. It still has like a slight smell, but I just feel like that's just gonna come with any vape. But enough about the, the vape pen. Let's talk about the Delta 8. I'm liking it so far, you guys. Um, it's very light. It's not harsh on the throat. Unless you take too big of a hit like I did. It's pretty, most definitely. It's so fucking gorgeous. It doesn't really have a smell. Just the pen has a smell. It doesn't have a taste. If you want something like really light, and mellow like with like the effects and the taste and the the handling of it this will be perfect for you dude delta 8 is also said to help a lot with anxiety and i fucking struggle with anxiety i've struggled with social anxiety most of my life and i know when i go outside i get all fucking anxious and now i can have like something very discreet because i can't just like smoke like a cbd joint outside because people gonna be like what the fuck is that but nowadays people vape thc so they're probably gonna know what the fuck this is especially if it's in a pen then they're gonna know something's up. But you know, no cop is gonna stop me. Like, is it a vape pen? And it has no smell, you guys. Oh, and plus it's federally legal. Even if the cop did stop me, it is federally legal. Nice. Ooh. I'm actually starting to feel it in my arms and my feet. I started working out lately, you guys, and my Legs have been killing me. <gasps> My legs feel better. Oh wow, this is nice. I'm actually feeling a body high. I don't know if I'm gonna feel a head high. I only feel like I feel I, a head rush is because I cough so hard. And you know, once you, when you cough so hard, yeah, your brain gets to like pulsing and shit like that. But I'm definitely feeling like a body calm right now. Like I'm being medicated. It definitely helped with my muscle pain that I was having earlier today in the past couple of days. Dude, and I'm only taking a few puffs. A 
A lot of people like to use THC to help with like headaches and pains like that. I have never felt those effects from THC. I've had headaches and tried to just use THC without any ibuprofen, but it never it never worked for me. I feel that like CBD works a lot better for pain and things like that instead of THC, but I heard that a lot of people use THC to help with pain. But this has actually helped with pain. It's weird, it's so weird how this plant works, dude. It's like absolutely amazing. And the fact that it's not accepted by most people that could probably benefit off of it is so mind-blowing to me. I feel like this would be really good for somebody that has like a really low tolerance or somebody starting off like a newbie. I feel like this would be really good for them. I'm not talking way too much. When I'm in a good mood, I talk way too much. This is nice, y'all. Man, I like this a lot. I feel like my eyes got lower. I don't know, does like all cannabinoids do that or does like just Delta 9 make your eyes lower? Because Delta 8 cup probably also make your eyes lower. Hold on, we have a phone, we have um, Wi-Fi, we can Google it. Are my eyes red? Yes. Delta 8 makes your eyes hella droopy and glazed over. So if you do smoke Delta 8, then you will also have like the same effects in your eyes because I legit feel my eyes lower. Yeah, I'm feeling good. This is like literally just like a mild, not even a mild high. It's just like a little lower than that. <gasps> Bro. Bro. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm feeling a high. To be honest, I feel like I'm feeling a high. I think I took a lot of puffs, and it's still, it's still to the tippy top. Yeah, I like this a lot, Goody Kind. Thank you. I never knew my limit and I didn't know there was like a limit when I first started smoking cannabis and I would like green out. I greened out like about two to three times before and I didn't know anything about CBD or Delta 8. And Delta 8 is really good for nausea. So if you're prone to green and out, if you don't know what green and out means, it's like basically overdosing on THC, but you get sick. Like you, your stomach feels sick. You get nauseous. But I feel like if you were to smoke this, like in between hits or just like smoke a few puffs before you smoke THC, then it will help a lot with um, that nausea feeling. I don't know, I'm not trying to sound like a scientist, but. These are just conclusions, theories. Conclusions and theories. No, I just had a fucking idea. Doing science projects while high. How fun would that be? How fun would that be? But anyway, yeah, if you, had, if you struggle with anxiety or if you struggle with like the effects of THC or you just simply don't like the effects of THC, then I will recommend this to you. To be honest, I do feel a little high and if you just do not like that high feeling, then you, it's probably best for you to just stick to CBD, you know? Man, I feel good. My body feels good. My shoulders feel relaxed. This is so good. And I'm so grateful that I was able to try this out and able to keep this product as my own. Thank you so much, Goody Kind. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, just like, you know, just thanks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's it. I feel a little stoned, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little stoned. But yeah, um, I think that's all I gotta say. I give this a whole freaking, that gets a 13 out of 10, most definitely. I love it, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and check out Goody Kind's website, they'll be pinned in the comments or in the description below. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to say hello, comment down below. And if you want to keep seeing my face, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys. Always keep it lady. Hold on. Let me take one more, one more puff for you guys.
Always keep it litty. Bye. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop this in here. Um, I'm hungry as fuck, so this definitely gives you the munchies. So yeah, keep that in mind. Thank you.